Hey everyone, it's Joel from the Fun Pimps, and we're here to talk about some new features we've been working on for Alpha 16. Um, let's see, get started here. So basically, what I've been doing is making new um, 3D Max shapes for the game. And this isn't working. Wait. Okay, never mind. Legacy test. Legacy test. Tip test. All right. So here's the old programmed um, wedge tip, and this one's not doesn't have the old facement code to it, but basically um, all the fate all the UVs were wrong, or most of them. The important ones were good, but you know some of these UVs on these blocks were bad, and this is supposed to be north. North wasn't north, and it was just a big mess. So. We've gone through, we're going through every block in the game that was programmed in like C sharp and basically programmed UVs and whatnot, and rotations. And we're replacing them um, with new ones that I modeled in 3D Studio that have perfect UVs and all the rotations that we want. So the old blocks had limited only like 16 rotations, the new ones have um, 24 rotations. And this is a lot of grunt work, and it doesn't seem like it has a lot of value, but um, it does because it's paving the way for um, some really cool new stuff. So, um, but basically, it allows us to replace all these old legacy blocks with new ones that have a new shape and unified rotations. And it allows us to have a lot more flexibility in, in building. And so kind of where we're going with this is you're going to, I don't know how, I can't show you yet, but basically, I mean, right now I can show you the problem. You know, look at all these, look at all these different frames we have to pick from. So in your building, you know, basically what's going to happen is you're going to get a wood frame and you'll be able to uh, hold down E or something like that and it's going to bring up an open a menu and then you'll be able to pick whatever shape you want so if you want a ramp you can build with a ramp if you want an inside corner you can build with an inside corner outside corner same thing so the shapes are going to be a selection or sub property of this so you'll press and hold E and it'll be a menu that comes out and it'll kind of be like having all the shapes right here in your inventory and you just pick one and this shape will become this one cube will become that or or maybe it'll stay a generic icon like this but out here it's going to change into whatever shape you want to build with so you don't have to lug around inside corners outside corners you know i think people and then uh so the rotations are going to be changed and then um you know currently we have so many blocks and most of them are just, you know, simple variants. And it's not working. All items, all blocks. Still showing some items. Um, so basically, okay, yeah, here's here's some examples, or there's a lot of like. Okay, like right, right here, concrete trim to tan drywall block. I mean, this is taking up a block entry. Also, it can have concrete on three sides and drywall on the on the other. And then I know we've got another one that's got drywall on two faces, and concrete on the other two, so on and so forth. It's a lot of redundancy. And who who wants to craft that? I don't want to craft that. You guys want to craft that? Sure, maybe some of you guys that are Crazy builders want to craft that, but I don't want to craft that. I just want to craft a concrete block and then customize it how I want to make it look. So kind of where we're going to go with things is you'd be able to 
take a frame or whatever and just grab uh, some wood. No, 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 I don't want to craft wood. I want to grab some wood. Alright. Now, give me a hammer. So you put your frame down like we do now, except it could be any shape you want from the shape menu. And then you're going to upgrade it or whatever. And then so it's all wood, right? And then you're going to take a decorator tool. And you're going to paint a face. So you'll be able to maybe pick from a bunch of materials. We just have it, you know, kind of hard coded right now, but it works. You can, oh, I was going the wrong way. You can remove it with right click and paint it with left click. So basically you can decorate your blocks and paint them whatever colors and materials you want. So, you know, you build a house and you start with a concrete and it'll be, it's, this block is still wood of course, but you'll be able to decorate it with different materials. So you could put tile on the floor, wood floor, you know, you could build with steel or whatever, you know, you upgrade it to steel and then you can go on the inside and, and decorate it how you want. So I th think, you know, so basically we're going to have a shape menu where you can select any shape from a frame and build with that shape. And then you're going to have simple and advanced rotations. So you'll be able to cycle through the, the basic four rotations, which is like if I had a, uh, a ramp, uh, You know, you've got your your basic rotations, except it already went sideways. So that's going to be fixed too. So with basic rotations, you'll never be able to get this ramp on its side. Oh, the other cool thing coming is um, world UVs. And you can see it right here. Um, these textures, these upside down blocks, they would um, flip upside down so you would see a square here where each one of these met. Well, now we've got a new global UV system that says, hey, no, we don't want to start the texture over. Or we don't want the texture to align to the block on, the, on a particular block. We want it to basically go with world UVs. So no matter how you rotate this thing, the texture is aligned. So this looks really great on cobblestone walls where you've got a ramp next to a wall and the ramp would never like you you do some kind of cool thing with one of these wet ramp blocks and the textures would never match up well now they do so that's going to look make the game look way better too so we're really excited about building you're going to be able to place you're going to be able to build any shape you want from this one frame block by clicking on it you'll get a menu that pops out you change your shape say i scroll through a menu and then all of a sudden I mean, it's scrolling through the menu and it'll, and I pick a ramp and all of a sudden I'll have a ramp to build with, but I won't need a ramp. It'll just be something like this. You, you hold E and it builds, it brings up a build menu. It'll be a, a, a box inventory like this. And there's going to be all the different shapes and be ramps and wedges, wedge tip, inside corner, outside corner, so on and so forth. So this is going to give us, um, awesome awesome building potential so you don't have to craft all these shapes anymore you'll just craft a frame or it'll be a wood frame or a uh, cobblestone frame you know or a scrap metal frame or a rebar frame and then you upgrade it just like now and then you go in there with this decorator tool and you'll have probably the same kind of deal you'll have a, a menu of materials that you can pick from and you'll select what material you want. Right now we've only got this Adobe thing, but you know, and you can remove it. If you don't like the decoration, you can remove it or pick, paint it with something else, but um, that's how it's gonna work. So we're gonna have custom per face texturing. We're gonna have rotations options, and we're gonna have um, flex, you know, all, all the shapes available within one frame menu. So it's gonna be it's going to just completely change building and it's going to be awesome. I, I think you guys are going to 
show us your best creativity and we're going to see some amazing looking um, forts and, and towns and whatnot in Seven Days to Die. So I'm excited about this and I think you guys are going to be too. So this is my first time even looking at electricity. Um, this model didn't make the cut. This was a generator that was done, but you know we don't really we don't really like it. So we've got a new one that we're making that looks a little more traditional. Um, but anyway, let me show you how it works, or let me try let me try to figure it out while you guys watch and watch me um, stumble and bumble. So this is a generator. E. Okay, so it has a refuel uh, function, and that would put it up to a quarter tank. All right, so I'm using 250 units of gas. All right, so I got my generator filled up. It shows the max power, max output is 100 watts, and I can turn it on. And that's not, obviously not the generator sound. We've got those. We're working on it. This is a total work in progress, but a proof of concept. We've got stuff working. And this is a switch. And it's not the switch model we're going to have. We've got the Frankenstein lever that I drew up being worked on. When that's done, um, you know, it'll obviously be a, be, obviously be a cool um, wall mount switch. So now let me try to take the wire tool, I don't, I don't know if it's left click or right, maybe it's right click. And, no, that didn't work. That shows zero watts. Let me try to hook it to the generator. Doesn't want to work. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. All right, let me just try. Let me try something else. Uh, solar power. Okay, here's a sign. Let me just put one of these guys down and run it directly with no switch. Okay, it started. There we go. Cool. So we've got, and then we turn the power off. Make sure it's working. And now there's no power to it. Sweet. Okay, now I want to get this dang switch working. I don't know what's wrong with that switch. And I think if you focus on the wire, maybe I can cut the wire. Maybe not, I don't know. I don't know. No, maybe I can't. I don't know how to do it. Maybe that's not working yet. But the idea is you'll be able to um, you'll be able to cut these wires somehow. So let me just try again with another switch over here. Now try the wire tool. Right click, come over here. There, I got it, I think. The wires droop into the ground, but hey, the switch is, I think it's on. And now let me get some other stuff. Uh, maybe this will work, I don't know. Um, let me just try this old light here. Take your wire tool. Yes, it works. I turned it on. It's a much more dramatic effect at night here. Yeah. Sweet. Look at that. I'm scared. Let's go back to daylight. <laughs> All right. So we've got working lights and working switches. Let's see what else we have to play with here. Solar power. Battery bank. So let me grab this battery bank. 
I don't, we don't like the we don't like the round pole on there. We're gonna we've got a better design for for this part here, and we're gonna we're still working on the battery bank, but um, it looks a little better than the generator. All right, what it come with six batteries already? No, these are just icons. Zero watts. All right, so I mean, cheat some batteries. So you open that guy up and you stick your batteries in there. Now what do I got? What? Are there zombies on? I thought I had zombies disabled. Do not interrupt my demo. I'll be pissed. Alright, shut those guys' AI off. Yep. Speaking of zombies, <laughs> I got one to show you guys. A new one. A new old one. Can you guess who it is? I'm sure you can. All right, um, E, take, block command light bulb. Hmm, I don't know what that does. Maybe the battery bank's not done yet. Let me try putting another light down. Just hooking, hooking this up to that. Yeah, it works. I mean, we're pulling power from this battery bank. So then I think you can also charge your batteries by doing this. Yep. There, that actually looks cool. So that one actually worked. We've got a lot of these lights. We need to put a node in there just to define where the wire goes. And we've got XML commands to do it too. So we've got a couple ways to put wire, wires in. Shut up, I'm talking over here. So rude. Can't even attack with this thing. Let's take care of business here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. So, uh, what do we got here? A relay? So, a relay is basically a way to power a bunch of stuff, I believe. So, we go here, take the wire tool. Remember guys, this is just first look. Everything's so temporary and so work in progress that it's not even funny. I mean, the programming is, is mostly there and it's functional, so we just have to make it look pretty and sound pretty and polish it up so that it's usable, but basically, you know, it's kind of working. And so get a couple of these signs over here. And I should be able to Hook them up. And then you can daisy chain stuff together. Just like that. So, obviously if I destroy this child's parent, the child's gonna get shut off. Maybe I can't with a shotgun. Maybe there's no collision on this thing. Yeah, there's collision. Let me get a pickaxe. I should just be able to cut the wire to show you guys this, but I don't I don't know how to do it or it's not working. Right. Yeah, so I cut the I destroyed that object and the wire got broke. But since this was wired to that object, you know, it, it shut it off. And apparently the relay doesn't really have any on or off abilities to it. It's just a, a way to wire stuff. Cool. Then we'll have the wire attached to the wire cutter tool, which we're building, and it'll be right in your hand. It's going to look awesome. Right now, it doesn't look the greatest, but it's, it works. And we've got a line render drawing the wires. So it's coming along, and it's pretty cool. I think there's a few other things: a pressure plate. Let's try this. See if it works. I don't know if it works. But I'm going to power this. Pressure plate. Okay, I think it's powered. I think I got it done. Now I want to break that guy there. And we're going to put a new one down. Oops, sign out. 
and I want to wire it to this pressure plate. So when I stand on that, hopefully, get the wire hooked up. I can't tell if the wire is hooked up or not. Try it. So let me just try it from here. Maybe it's not working or I don't know how to do it yet. It might be a work in progress. But essentially you're going to step on this trigger plate and anything hooked up to that is will uh, will come on. So anyway, that's first look electricity. Um, there's a lot more to come and it's totally unfinished. So don't judge us. <laughs> it's just here to show you that it works and we haven't been sitting around not, not working. We've been working our butts off. So things are coming along really good. And I'll show you some more stuff here. So here is the bear. He's coming along pretty good. Uh, we've adjusted his proportions. His animation speed's not synced to his walk yet, so there's some skating in the animation, but that's minor. We'll get that going. Um, it's too it's still too dark. I don't know what's going on. If I got, I think I have the wrong shader on his on his model, on his material, and that's why he's so dark. And we're we're redoing how the animals rotate, so, um, oh, look at that bad boy. Yeah, I don't want to see this guy coming at me. His mouth is too closed. There, he opened it up properly. Yeah, his walk animations glitched out his, um, his, his, his mouth is shut too far. Anyway, so this is kind of where we're at on him. I think he's looking way better, um, but the material's way too dark yet. I don't know if there's some kind of bug going on. I think I probably just had the wrong material on this guy. Um, but yeah, he's coming along pretty good. Here's a few more things. Um, this is a, a generator concept I made. Um, we're having to model that. That'll replace the one you guys saw in the video today. Um, basically, uh, you've got a, a metal cage, you know, you've got an engine, muffler, all these little details are being added. And then we'll kind of have a, a universal um, electrical insulator that we'll probably use on several models to attach wires to as needed. Not everyone needs this, but you know I think certain models can benefit from this and having a standard attach point that's kind of out of the way. And I think it'll look pretty good. And then we've already seen that. Not that I want this guy right here. So this is the vulture that's going to replace the bee. Um, we've got the model done. It needs rigged and animated yet, but it's coming. It, I think it looks pretty good. Half rotten zombie vulture. So this thing's been dead a while, obviously, but you know, it's still got a few feathers and I think it'll be able to fly around. And I was looking up vultures and they have, they're pretty big. They have a, you know, like a three meter, up to a three meter wingspan or something like that. Or, Eight and a half, nine feet. So that's pretty big. So pretty excited. Can't wait to get all these new animals in. We've um, Joe's been working on a new um, code framework um, to support animals, and uh, it's going to allow me and the animators to add new animal content without a bunch of um, custom work from a programmer. We've been using this old legacy system that you know, required special code practically for every animal. Now we've got kind of a unified animal support framework, so to speak, so we can add all these different animals and um, you know, bring them into the game and without, you know, with minimal or hopefully no, no help from the programmers uh, and we'll just be able to get stuff in. Um, of course, the bird will need code to make him fly around realistically but that's another topic i mean it's been a big issue just trying to get bring new animals in and and do what i and use mech anim you know we've been stuck using legacy animations which don't really have any blending or anything so if you noticed in that 
and the bear, you know, when he was walking around, the, the transition from idle to walk looked way better than the old bear. And these animations are still a you know, work in progress, but the blending is just what makes it, you know, look good. So anyway, we're pretty excited. We've got a lot of good, more stuff to show you. Um, so uh, I hope you guys like the vulture. He's looking pretty good. I want to see him in the game yet. We'll probably do some more touch-ups, but you know, this is where it's at right now. And last but not least, we've got the old big fat Hawaiian zombie, Hawaiian shirt zombie back again. So uh, he's going to be pretty nasty. We're hoping on doing a special attack on him where he can ram into buildings and do a lot of structure or structural damage. But yeah, he's a beast. <laughs> I've got the AI shut off so he can't see me. Now I'll turn it on. Yeah. <laughs> That's it for this week, guys. Thanks for watching.